1934, a luxury cruise ship named the SS Moro Castle met a tragic fate off the coast of New Jersey. Join us as we dive into the harrowing events that unfolded on that fateful day. It was a calm morning on September 8, 1934, as the SS Moro Castle set sail from Havana to New York City. Little did the passengers and crew know that their journey would soon turn into a nightmare. Around 2.50 a.m., a fire broke out in a storage locker within the first-class writing room on B-deck. Within minutes, the flames engulfed the entire ship, trapping everyone on board. Acting Captain Worms desperately tried to beach the ship, but the fire spread too quickly. As the ship drifted closer to the shore, panic and chaos ensued. By 3.10 a.m., the fire had burned through the ship's main electrical cables, plunging it into darkness. With no power and the fire raging out of control, the situation became dire. Coast Guard members rushed to the scene, pulling survivors from the surf in Spring Lake, New Jersey. But despite their efforts, the tragedy claimed the lives of 137 passengers and crew members. As the ship continued to drift towards the shore, news of the disaster spread along the New Jersey coast. Local citizens gathered on the coastline, ready to help the wounded and search for survivors. The ship's burning hull finally came to a stop in shallow water off Asbury Park, New Jersey. It was a haunting sight, reminiscent of a previous shipwreck that occurred in the same spot in 1854. For the next two days, the fires smoldered, a grim reminder of the lives lost at sea. The SS Moro Castle was declared a total loss and eventually towed away from the shoreline. But even in its charred state, the wreck became a macabre tourist attraction. People flocked to the boardwalk and Asbury Park Convention Hall Pier to catch a glimpse of the tragedy. Souvenirs and postcards were sold, turning the wreck into a morbid memento for visitors. The disaster of the SS Moro Castle led to significant improvements in fire safety for future ships. Fire retardant materials, automatic fire doors, and ship-wide fire alarms became standard practices. Emergency generators and mandatory crew training in fire fighting procedures were also implemented. The tragedy also sparked reforms in the licensing of merchant marine officers. The United States Merchant Marine Academy was established to ensure better training and safety measures. Today, the story of the SS Moro Castle serves as a reminder of the fragility of life at sea. Join us as we uncover the untold details of this tragic shipwreck and pay tribute to those who lost their lives.